Hi and welcome back. In today's video, we see how to create this nice animation for our app navigation. Let's get started. Let's start by creating a new frame. This would be the body of our navigation. All right, let's give it a size of 360 by 70. Nice, zoom in. Let's give it a rounded edge, slightly rounded, like 10 corner radius. Let me change the background of my canvas to a darker gray. Excuse me, like that. And let's go and pick our icon. So let's pick Iconify and let's start by choosing my first icon, which is Home. Click and drag and bookmark. You know, the basic icon that you will find in a standard mobile navigation ask it and then the last one favorite all right now let's select all my icons and let's hit this and let's give it 30 pixels of size and let's tie it up All right let's start by my home click and drag here then my bookmark just click and drag now I think we're gonna need to resize again because it's a bit let's select all the icons and resize to 24 by 24 like that tie it up and center like that I mean and also align and change its default so, you know, a light gray. Make sure it is centered and well aligned. Something like that. Now, let's go and pick the ellipse tool. Let's draw a nice little ellipse on the background here. And let's give it a make sure it is inside my frame as you can see just pick all the icon and move them to the top to avoid my icon to slip outside let's change its color to a slightly red faded color and let's change this first icon to darker gray so basically this is the active state of my home button all right now let's go and add home the text layer for my home button so as you can see it's just basic basic design nothing fancy and for this tutorial I'm just gonna demonstrate how to make a nice little animation for your uh, mobile navbar let's change this text to 12 and medium or maybe semi bold let's change its color to a darker gray like that for C for C for C and also 
I'm also here the same dark gray all right make sure it is well aligned here with my home icon now let's go and make rename this home and create a new component and duplicate maybe let's change this to not bar and this for its value let's rename it home and this property to this button favorite and basically we'll move this right here and rename it favorite it's not renaming it but changing the string value and move this click and select this two icons and let's align to the top like that and then let's select this icon to get to get it back to the center select this icon and this and center all right then move down like that all right now for this one let's click and drag or move to the side of my favorite icon and let's change my icon to a darker gray that's it maybe this will be save it not favorite and center this text layer like that and also make sure my text layer let's rename it text because we need a standard text layer that doesn't change uh, using its key values so we need to have you know a consistent name on each variant this will help us on the animation all right create a new variant let's move this under basket let's align this like that and let's move this and this icon we move up darker gray and here let's select this pre icon because I forget this select that that and that and let's pick the same gray of a faded and this rename it shop All right and create one last variant this will be favorite move this up align it with this like that and this align it with the bottom change it to gray and let's move this beside my eye my heart icon make it active all right so for this property we name it favorite and for this third one we name it shop and this is save it and this is home all right now let's connect everything with the prototype tool and create our animation so let's pick this first icon of the second variant and let's select multi-edit variants we select all the variants create a new interaction while hovering change to home and it will create all the interaction and make sure it is smart animate and gentle
800 milliseconds. Let's go and select all those four and let's create a new interaction while hovering change to save it which is this variant all right and also smart animate gentle now let's select all those four icons Tish shop create a new interaction while hovering change to shop smart animate and gentle and for my last button new interaction while hovering change to favorite smart animate and gentle all right now as you can see i've created a lot of connection in you know few clicks so create new frame let's go to assets let's test our nav bar let's change my background to this nice purple center and let's hit preview all right let's change the size and let's hover all right as you can see I mean the problem is this animation going back maybe if we change that interaction from for example from while hovering to mouse enter maybe we'd solve that so let's select all this let's go from while hover to mouse enter also here select let's change for mouse enter Select those icons. All right, let's see. Yes. As you can see, mouse hunter works better in this situation. As you can see, it is a little animation smooth and simple for your navigation. All right, thank you so much. I hope you've learned something new today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video.